So we finished the roof boards a few days ago. I then took a trip and just haven't gotten to putting on the aluminum, but now I really need to get it on. It's time to get it on, get the ends painted or whatever I'm going to do, and then remove the scaffolding so I can keep piling firewood underneath. So I just put in this little um, roof helper, for lack of better names. Take a two by six, rip two inches off, put the camper edges on, and screw it down. And it's great because it really, your whole foot sideways, you basically have four inches there. You can set on it. It's comfortable. Um, so it works out really nice. I have already made some, but they're down at Lewistown. So I thought I'd make another one. I may even make one more for over there, although the scaffolding's right there. And there's a couple things I wanted to mention. So first of all, another big advantage of using rough cut lumber is it's rough. It's You don't really slide on it. It's... um lots of friction i mean i could really do it without this but it's safer with it but i will tell you it's just more comfortable when you have a rough surface you're sitting on you're not constantly sliding or anything just um really nice and you can see close up you can see it's pretty rough the disadvantage is you could get a sliver but Honestly, I really don't get many until I, until I do something that's not a good move and you know rub my fingers on the edge where there's a bunch of splitters sticking out. But I mean, doing this, you don't really get any. It's not it's not that prone to slivers. And then the other thing, so one of the things we have to do is really pound the nails in. And you can see what's happened where the hammer had indented it. A lot of that has popped up and the further down the roof you go the more it's popped up because the more times it's been rained on it's been rained on about three times which is three times more than I would prefer but it is hemlock and it dries fast so it does not seem to cause any um, problems so we do have it all I'm ready for the aluminum we have a nice I like how it looks around here. This is our chimney here, our three triple wall chimney. I didn't plan on going tight to it. I don't want to go tight to it. If some water blows in there, it's not that big of a deal. If um, it's kind of protected here anyways, we've got the roof right here. So it's probably not too likely. I may, um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the aluminum around here. I may go down sideways a little bit and then overlap I'm not sure still debating that I'm gonna not start the aluminum tonight but I'm all ready to start it so thought I'd do a quick video so one of the advantages so besides being rough taking the rain and I like how it bounces back when you um, drive the nails in as far as you can so it's putting a good eighth to three eighths or to a quarter inch I should say probably difference between the nail head and the wood surface and that's very important because remember aluminum is going to be on here and we do not want that aluminum touching these nails these nail heads that will for sure cause a leak okay let's call it a night and we'll be ready to start aluminum tomorrow night or whatever night I'm going to start. I could go build one more. I might do that too. Okay. Nice view. That's one of the things I like working about working on roofs. You get a nice view, different um, perspective of stuff. See our beautiful oak here.